currently there's a huge debate going on about ancient Egypt and we tried to cover a few of them here on this channel and honestly it's tiring because it's almost like talking about something that's nonsense because there's ar archaeological findings that we have talked about there are actual historical facts but for some unknown reason uh, some people don't want to associate ancient Egypt with black let me show you this clip of uh, an Egyptian brother I found on TikTok. He goes by the name of Sufi Alchemy. And let me tell you, he gathered the Egyptians that are pushing back. Watch this clip. We'll come back and discuss. Dark skinned people here in Egypt are of completely different features and culture than. Assalamu alaikum. You mean the alkaline hermetic features like myself? My skin color, my nose, my small lips, etc. Sure, maybe the new kingdom and the Ptolemic period uh, pharaohs would look like me, such as Ramses III. But I'm mixed. It doesn't say anything about my forefathers. My forefathers are dark-skinned Fulani. And so was the forefathers of Ramses III and these new kingdom pharaohs, who were exposed to a lot of invasions and trades and immigrations from Europe and other parts of the world. So your argument is essentially like saying, I am brown, I have alkaline features, therefore my great-grandfather was also brown with alkaline hamitic features. Uh, no, he wasn't. It's because my mother is white. So essentially you deny the old kingdom and middle kingdom pharaohs which had typical African features and that is the part of what you say which may be interpreted as a little bit racist. Then you go about comparing modern Egyptian identity and modern Nubian identity with ancient Kemet. That's completely invalid because we don't care about modern Egypt in terms of identities. We care about the ancient Kemites 3,000 years ago. You know, it's 3,000 years. Things have happened that time, right? I mean, you, you wear a hijab, you're maybe a Muslim, huh? Uh, where the ancient uh, Kemites, uh, Muslim and wearing a hijab, just trying to prove, prove a point. That came with the Umayyad invasion when Sayyidina Usman got assassinated and the Umayyad cousins took power and invaded North Africa. People migrate tremendously, huh? Look at Dubai today. Most people in Dubai are immigrants. Look at New York, filled with immigrants. Amsterdam, filled with immigrants. The entire North Africa is filled with immigrants. I mean, the, the true people there are the natives. What do you think has happened to Egypt the last 3,000 years with invasions from Assyrians, Persians, Phoenicians, uh, Romans, Greeks, uh, you name it. So this argument that that land and nation that you today call Egypt has always been like that is completely false. Some people cite the 2017 DNA study, which actually doesn't say what people say it does because I read the study in, in the Nature Journal. Yeah, that's one study looking at two or three mummies. What, what about the 160 mummies that they didn't publish, right? What about the 1990 study that nobody talks about that showed sub-Saharan in the mummies? What about Sheikh Anta Diop's tests and so on? So you cannot just take one study and point to something. Yes, yeah, sure, there may be people in Egypt today and Nubia today who are direct distant descendants of some pharaoh. I mean, there would have been many people in ancient Egypt, but since people have migrated there for the last 3,000 years, you can have people in West Africa also are descendants of them. You can have people in Iran who may trace their lineage back to ancient Kemal. I mean, people move. So this kind of argument, let's assume that people don't migrate. People are static only in that geographic region. They don't move. There are no wars. There are no changing of people. It's, it's completely historyless. It's a naive argument that can be disproven as simply as just looking at your random city in Europe today. And the idea that just because I have Alcana and Hamitic futures, my fathers also had Hamitic futures. That's, that can change in one or two generations. Or the argument that the Egyptians today have some kind of proprietary right to history. So, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. It's, it's ego, all I can say. On that clip, he was responding to an Egyptian that is just angry that black people believe that there are black pharaohs and black people that used to rule ancient Egypt. And she was claiming that, like, that's why, why are you doing this? Like, that's not your history. This is our history. And as you heard, he made good points like just because right now after all those invasions after mixing and after everything that happened in Egypt you can't claim that you are the only descendant and anybody else that doesn't look like you they are lying we need to sue them the same way the Egyptian lawyer is suing Netflix for creating Cleopatra this is where we have come like honestly this is really tiring but at least 
there's someone that is speaking facts and actually not shy about it. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this brother's explanation. I'm Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.